Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello students, I am Sobhya Rabil from Peshawar Model School, Nushara Campus. Uh, before starting, do subscribe my channel and uh, let's begin. Now students, this is your May SVT which is chapter number 1, Introduction to Biology. Now question number 1 is, read the chapter, learn and write all the scientific information given on page number 3, 4, 5, 6, 13 and 14. Students, you already have started this chapter and I have given you uh, lectures which hopefully you have seen. So now you, what you have to do is to you have to learn and write all the scientific information which is given on page number 3, 4, 5, 6, 13 and 14. Now when your summer vacations are over, I am going to see that. Now question number 2 is enlist 5 tissues, organs and systems of human body. Now. We have to write five tissues, organs, and systems of the human body. Now, tissues in human body, there are a lot of tissues which are present in the human body. Some of these are epithelial tissues. Epithelial tissues are the outermost tissues of the body which form our skin. Next one is the nervous tissue which makes the brain cells. Third one is the cardiac tissues which make the heart. Next one is the endocrine tissues which make the hormone system. And fifth one, I will leave that for you. You will tell me that which is fifth one. Now, who, what are the organs present in the human body? There are a lot of organs present in the human body. These are heart, kidney, brain, lungs. And the fifth one, I leave that for you. Now, uh, systems. There are a lot of systems. Now, what are the systems present in the human body? When the organs and the tissues, they combine together, they form system. Now, nervous system, which make the brain cells, excretory system, digestive system, cardiovascular system, and respiratory system. So, these are the systems which are present in the human body. Apart from these systems, there are a lot of other systems as well, which you have to find out. Now, uh, question number three in your SPT is study levels of biological organization given on page number 13, 14 and 15 and solve the activity given on page number 16. You have to study the bi levels of biological organization. What are the biological organization and what are the levels? Now, you know that all the matter in this universe that is made up of atoms now these atoms they combine together and they form elements these elements are also present in bio biological organisms uh, these elements include oxygen calcium uh, carbon nitrogen hydrogen and phosphorus they make up the 99 percent of the protoplasm what is protoplasm protoplasm is the inner content of the cell that is the protoplasm now, these bioelements they combine together and they form biomolecules. These biomolecules they are present inside the living organisms. Why they are called biomolecules? Because they are present in biological organisms. Now, these biomolecules they are of two types. One is micro and the other is macromolecules. Micromolecules include hydrogen, uh, sorry, water, amino acids, glucose, etc. And macromolecules, these are lipids, starches, heavy molecular weight or, uh, molecules. Next one is organelles. Now, first one is atom, then the um, elements, now the organelles. Organelles are the small uh, components that are present inside the cell. First, the atoms, they form the elements, then the, these elements, they combine together and they form the organelles. These are present inside the cell. Now these organelles they combine together and they make up a cell. The inside content that is called that that is all made up of these organelles and then these organelles they combine together and form cell. These cells then further combine together and form tissues. The tissues further combine together and they form organs. The, these organs further combine together and form organ system. And these organ systems combine together and finally form a complete organism. So atoms then the elements, then the organelles, then the cell, then the tissues, then the organs, then the organ system, and then the organism. 